Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, Karibu Sana. In today's video, we will be unboxing this pressure cooker or some of you might call it an instant pot. So that is what we are going to do today. So this is the brand Bone. Apart from unboxing it, I'm also going to show you how to use it and how to cook meat and how to cook beans in it because those are the two things that I chose to do because one of them is our dinner today so without further ado, let's get into the video so I already opened it in the supermarket and it was being tested so I have just finished reading the manual and then inside so this is how it looks on the inside, it has this protector and then this is the baby it's... then this is the power cord, then there is that protector underneath and there is nothing else in the box Ooh. oh my goodness, wow so that's how it looks. Oh my god, it's so sleek. Wow. Let's put up the back. This is so dope, guys. It's really awesome. So we get into the functions a bit later on. So when we open it, let's see what it comes with. have a measuring cup and this goes up to I think one exact cup and then it comes with a spoon and then a soup spoon so I think these are for serving from the pressure cooker and then we have this plastic thingy I think this is for trapping the gas then I don't know what to call it, but it goes in there. And then in here there is this. I think this is when you want to bake or something, I'm not sure. I'll write below what the function of this grid is. But that's the other thing that's in here. And then inside we have the inner pots. And this is 6 liters, so you can cook up to 6 liters. And then inside it's written the marks. You're not supposed to, whatever food you're cooking, don't um, exceed this point. Otherwise, it will overflow or not cook well. So this is coated, so it's non-stick. The food won't stick in here. And then... That's how it looks on the inside. Now we'll start with how to open or close a pressure cooker. So I'm going to bring you guys closer so that you can see. Yeah. So at the back here, there's this nozzle. So if you put the lid that way and then you rotate, that's locked, it can open. And then this pressure valve over here, this is when you're cooking. And then once you're done cooking, you turn this the other way to release. It's like the exhaust to release the pressure. And then there is like this button, a red button over here. So if this is down, that means there is no pressure that has built inside and the, the lid is safe to open. But when this red thing comes all the way up, then you know there is still pressure inside. So you go ahead, if it's in this lock position, you go ahead and do that so that you can release the pressure, give it time and then for it to open. So here you have like a button, it's written lock and unlock. So if this arrow is aligning with another arrow right above the control panel, then that is unlocked if it's aligning with it this other then you know it's locked 
and then now the power outlet is down here and this is how it looks over there it's a three type thingy electricians don't come for me so that's how it looks that's the base it has a stainless steel um outer frame which i like because it will be easy to clean plus it goes with my kitchen theme let's put it on and see the functions so when you're cooking this first of all i'm going to move it a bit away from the electricals so i'm going to move it this other side oops <laughs> so when you are placing your pressure cooker make sure that it's not all the way to the wall it's just at the center there so let's put it on and see yeah so this is the off button and then we have a delay timer over here a keep warm uh, button or an off button then we have the pressure level the cooking timer and then this is for manual settings if you want to reduce the amount of time or to increase it so there is the minus and the addition button then there is a the manual setting if you want to control your own settings then you have the menu button and then zero one zero for all these so zero one is for meat two is for poultry vegetables steam saute slow cook white rice brown rice beans broth curry soup multigrade this is for githeri then porridge and chili and i'm not sure if it can also make yogurt but <laughs> we will try we will experiment on this thing so right now i want to boil meat so i'm going to use the zero one setting and then the pressure level and then we can see how long the meat is going to cook for and also how long the beans are going to cook for disclaimer i have not soaked the beans because i want to see without soaking how much time it would take so let's get into that so something i did not tell you before is that there's a rubber thingy on the lid and this is removable you can remove it to wash it actually after every use it's advised that you remove this and wash it and also clean the inside of the lid and also this nozzle so that if there's any like food particles stuck in there you can get rid of that so that there's not any bacteria there's not any bacteria left when you want to use the pressure cooker again so i have wiped the inner part of it before i can use the the pressure cooker and then another thing i have also washed the pot with just mild soap and water but before i put it in the machine i have to dry any water that is on the outside so don't don't put a wet pot inside the machine and also this is the only pot that is recommended to use with this uh, pressure cooker don't put your sufuria don't put your non-stick however much you love them those ones just stick on your gas <coughs> sorry so i have wiped this and now that's the maximum i just want to put in the meat and we see how long it will cook so this is two kgs of beef i want to cook this hopefully it's not past the maximum point it hasn't so i'm just going to top that with water so there's i'll put some water and there's a piece of meat that was stuck there i'll add more water just a bit so if you can see i have not crossed over the maximum point you either the liquid or the meat itself so for this meat i'm just going to add a bit of salt or a lot <laughs> because this is a lot of meat and then with some black pepper so i'm going to cover this up there's some water on the sides don't know if that's okay but i have to get rid of that 
So this is water that mangia. So I would advise that if you're putting anything in the pot, put it uh, elsewhere so that when you come here you just uh, put it in the in the pressure cooker so that the water doesn't spill on the sides. I think that's easier. So I'm just going to close this up. As I said earlier, you want to make sure this aligns and then this locks over here. Make sure it has locked before you start uh, cooking. And then I'm going to put the on button. And then once this starts cooking, do not touch the lid area because it gets pretty hot. And also, uh, if you have this op uh, in operation, make sure there are no kids in the kitchen so that they don't mess uh, with the settings. This is off or this is the standby state. This is the keep warm. Then this is the delay timer. If you want to cook maybe two hours from now, you're waiting for your husband to come back from work so that you can start cooking your rice. You can do that. And then this is the cooking timer, pressure level, manual setting. This two you're go or these three, you're going to need them when you're setting it manually. So I'm going to show you how to do that later on because for hours i'm just going to use the automatic setting and that one i'm going to put the menu it has come to p01 but if you want to cook poultry you go to two all the way to, it goes all the way up to 15 then it starts again and then this is like a reset button the keep home or the standby button so for the manual setting you just set the manual it automatically goes to high but you can adjust the pressure level to low, medium or high. And also this is 30 minutes. If you want to increase the cooking timer, you just do that and then add or reduce the cooking time. So, and then reset. So for hours, I'm going to do that again so that you get it. If you want to use any of the automatic um, systems that is here, you just press menu, you go all the way to the selection that you want okay and then if since you're not doing that and then if you want to use a manual setting press the manual button it automatically goes to high 30 minutes if you want to adjust the pressure level you press that if you want it in low but you want to cook it let's say for 20 minutes we go reduce it to 20 minutes so once the 20 minutes are done it will tell you that it's done cooking but then immediately it stops cooking it starts the keep warm function so that way your food doesn't get cold once you've started cooking it so for hours i'm just going to select the automatic to the meat function so i am going to press the menu button since it's already on po1 it has like a 10 seconds delay if you don't press anything else for 10 seconds, it will assume that that is what you want to cook and it will start cooking, okay? So as you can see, it changed from P01. So when it was at P01, the pressure was building so that it could determine hey. the amount of time that uh, the meat could cook. And since it's a lot, that's why I'm guessing it's this much. So I came when the timer was at 20 minutes, so it's just reduced by two minutes. So I think by the time it gets to zero, the meat will be done. And then up here, you can see that the red thingy came up. And that means that the pressure here is so much. That's why the red thing is up. So we are going to wait for it to get to zero minutes and see if the meat is cooked. So once the timer red zero, this is the sound that it made to tell us that it's done. So up here, as you can see, the pressure is uh, a lot inside. So I'm just going to turn this this way to remove all the pressure. You see? So as you can see, the kathingi dropped. Immediately, the pressure was done releasing. As you can see, there is no more pressure. It just went down on its own. So I want to, I'm going to turn this off now. And then I'm going to open the pot. <laughs> I'm so scared, guys. <laughs> okay. 
so that has opened if you can see in there let me switch this off the meat has cooked i am going to taste one piece i'm going to taste one piece it doesn't need that much water <laughs> to cook oh my god it's so good you can see that's done so i'm going to take the pot out remove the meat and then i'm going to boil the beans and for this time i'm not going to use the automatic settings i'm going to use the manual settings to cook the beans so I have put the beans and forgive me but I did not clean the pot when I was putting the beans because it has soak up Ninyama, Ninyama. <laughs> so I want to cook these beans in manual setting so I'm going to close this up let me put some salt So that has locked i will put this on and then i will put the manual settings pressure level i will put high and then for the timer i'm thinking we start with 20 minutes since the beans are not a lot and then we'll see how that is so for this um pressure cooker it doesn't have a start button so it but it has a second timer delay so you see after the 10 seconds are done, it assumes that that's the setting that you want to use. So we are going to leave this on for 20 minutes and come back and check on them. So the pressure has gone down. It has cooked for 20 minutes. So let's see. And that's how they look like. They are clearly not yet done i'm just going to take one so they are almost done but not yet and i like the beans really soft because of sean so i'm just going to cook them further for about 10 minutes so now the timer is done i have released the pressure so i'm just going to turn that off and see how they look inside so they are very well done so to cook these beans i have used the the manual setting but next time i think i'm going to try the the automatic setting so that i can know exactly like how long because this one took like about 30 minutes before then i'm going to soak the beans so that I see how long exactly it would take with soaked beans. So yeah, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the review. I hope you're looking forward to purchase your instant pot or your pressure cooker. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below on what you think about it. What brand of instant pot you have. What meals can I try to cook with this instant pot? Apart from boiling stuff, I would be really interested to know. And please subscribe to my channel. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. And I'll be really glad if you came on board to help me out. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, bye. It's